What is Bowen's Reaction Series? Bowen's Reaction Series is a geological concept that explains how different types of igneous rocks form as magma cools and solidifies. It was developed by the Canadian geologist Norman L. Bowen in the early 20th century, and it remains a fundamental principle in the study of igneous petrology. The basic idea behind Bowen's Reaction Series is that as magma cools, Minerals crystallize out of the melt in a predictable sequence, depending on their melting points and other chemical properties. Bowen divided minerals into two groups, the discontinuous series and the continuous series. The discontinuous series includes minerals that crystallize out of the magma at specific temperature intervals. The first mineral to crystallize is olivine which has a high melting point and forms at temperatures of around 1,200 degrees Celsius. Next, pyroxene forms at slightly lower temperatures, followed by amphibole and biotite mica. These minerals are said to be discontinuous because they crystallize out of the magma at discrete temperature intervals, rather than gradually. The continuous series, on the other hand, includes minerals that crystallize out of the magma over a range of temperatures. Plagioclase feldspar is the first mineral in this series, forming at temperatures of around 1,100 to 900 degrees Celsius. As the magma cools further, the plagioclase crystals change in composition, becoming more sodium-rich, albite, at lower temperatures and more calcium-rich, anorthite, at higher temperatures. Quartz is the final mineral to crystallize out of the magma, forming at temperatures of around 600 to 400 degrees Celsius. Bowen's reaction series is important because it explains why different types of igneous rocks have different mineral compositions. For example, if magma cools and solidifies quickly, only the first minerals to crystallize will have time to form, resulting in a rock that is rich in olivine and pyroxene, such as a basalt. If the magma cools more slowly, more minerals will have time to crystallize, resulting in a rock that is rich in plagioclase feldspar and quartz, such as a granite. Overall, Bowen's reaction series provides a useful framework for understanding the complex processes that govern the formation of igneous rocks. By studying the sequence in which minerals crystallize out of magma, Geologists can learn a great deal about the history of volcanic and plutonic processes, and gain insights into the formation and evolution of the Earth's crust. What are the principles of Bowen's Reaction Series? Bowen's Reaction Series is based on several fundamental principles that govern the behavior of minerals as they crystallize out of magma. These principles help explain the order in which different minerals crystallize and the factors that influence their crystal structure and composition. Minerals crystallize at different temperatures. The first principle of Bowen's reaction series is that minerals have different melting points and will crystallize out of magma at different temperatures. Minerals with high melting points, such as olivine, will crystallize first, while minerals with lower melting points, such as quartz, will crystallize last. Crystallization order is predictable. The second principle of Bowen's reaction series is that the order in which minerals crystallize is predictable and follows a specific sequence. The sequence is determined by the melting points and other chemical properties of the minerals, and it remains the same regardless of the composition of the magma. Minerals can change composition as they crystallize, the third principle of Bowen's reaction series is that minerals can change in composition as they crystallize. This is especially true for plagioclase feldspar, which can vary in composition from calcium-rich, anorthite, to sodium-rich, albite, depending on the temperature at which it crystallizes. Continuous and discontinuous series The fourth principle of Bowen's reaction series is that minerals can be divided into two groups, the continuous series and the discontinuous series. The discontinuous series includes minerals that crystallize out of the magma at specific temperature intervals, while the continuous series includes minerals that crystallize out of the magma over a range of temperatures. Cooling rate affects mineral composition. The fifth principle of Bowen's reaction series is that the rate at which magma cools can affect the mineral composition of the resulting igneous rock. 
If magma cools quickly, only the first minerals to crystallize will have time to form, resulting in a rock that is rich in olivine and pyroxene. If the magma cools slowly, more minerals will have time to crystallize, resulting in a rock that is rich in plagioclase feldspar and quartz. These principles of Bowen's reaction series provide a framework for understanding the behavior of minerals in magma and the processes that govern the formation of igneous rocks. By studying the sequence in which minerals crystallize, geologists can gain insights into the thermal history of volcanic and plutonic processes and understand the evolution of the Earth's crust over time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.